I got I got the inspiration for the line basically because my uh, my my grandmothers and also my aunts, especially those in Italy, would always have these beautiful bags, these very glamorous bags that they use to contain like their nightgowns or their their gloves or their handkerchiefs or all the things that uh, their beautiful scarves, all the things that they um, treat as beautiful or that they hold as beautiful. And they would always, you know, store the, the in their closet all their stuff in these beautiful, glamorous bags. So I wanted to take this concept, but also add functionality, because now in the modern day of, you know, of traveling and just you know our lives, you need something a little bit more. You need maybe more compartments, or maybe um, a bag with water-resistant lining, something a little bit more sturdy. Uh, so I I wanted to create a line of bags that are both beautiful and feminine but also functional and with multi-purpose, so you can use them in many different scenarios. So this is the original bag that I created, and um, this was the very first model. And the, the point was so that you could divide up, say you're traveling and you want to use it as a lingerie bag, you divide up your underwear, you know, maybe put your socks or something in here, and then you can have a place to lay your bras flat. But then a key thing that I added to all the artillery bags is our trademark secret compartment. So this way, it see it's a little zipped pocket in the lining of the bag. So this way you can have a place, say you're traveling and you're in a hotel that maybe you don't trust them, and maybe they don't have a safe. You can put things that you hold valuable, such as you know your passport, jewelry, things that you don't want, you know, the person to see, just hide it in there, throw in your jewelry, zip it up, you know, it's already hidden, but then say you want to throw something over it, close it. This particular, particular bag is called the Goddess and it has a magnetic closure, which is perfect for things with lace that you don't want to get caught in a zipper. But so that way, you know, it's, it's out of the view of everyone. And say it's, uh, it's something that you don't necessarily even want your travel companions to know you have. You have extra money or something you want to hide it away, you have a, a great place to do it. Um, another consideration was oftentimes if you travel for work or maybe you're traveling in, in not the best circumstances. Um, I'm an attorney, so I would, always, I would travel often for work and I'd go to hotels, which maybe are not the most glamorous places to be. And uh, you have very long days, and you're working long hours, and it's very uh, intense. It's nice to come back to your hotel room and to open the drawer and see something beautiful. You know, it's, it's like a little jewel. It's like a little present to yourself every time you see it. And, um, and also, even better, oftentimes you never really unpack when you get to these hotels. And maybe you're at a hotel for two weeks because you're working on a deal. You don't unpack because you don't want to put your underwear in those drawers. You know, it's gross. So you're always kind of unsettled. You don't really feel comfortable. This way, you put all your precious things in here, throw this thing in the drawer, and you're safe because you can wash it later.